Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're talking about a subject that affects every single one of us in ways we might not even realize, how human evolution is out of sync with modern life. If you think about it, human beings have spent most of their existence living in conditions that are wildly different from how we live now. For millions of years, we evolved in environments where food was scarce, physical activity was essential, and the natural rhythm of daylight dictated our sleep cycles. Yet, here we are in 2024, staring at bright screens, sitting for hours on end, and ordering pizza at midnight because we're bored or stressed. We're going to explore what happens when ancient biology meets modern life and how this mismatch affects everything from our sleep to our stress levels. So buckle up. It's time to see how far we've strayed from the environments we were built for. Let's start with sleep. Our ancestors evolved to sleep when the sun went down and wake up when it came back up. It's called the circadian rhythm, our internal clock that synchronized with the rising and setting of the sun. Back in the day when it got dark, that was it. Time to sleep. There were no phones, no Netflix, no late-night emails to answer. But what are we doing now? Instead of following this natural rhythm, we're exposing ourselves to blue light from our devices, phones, laptops, TVs, long into the night. This blue light mimics daylight, tricking our brains into thinking it's still daytime and messing with our production of melatonin, the hormone that tells our body it's time to sleep. Evolution didn't prepare us for 24-hour access to artificial light. It's no wonder so many of us are sleep-deprived, lying awake at 2 a.m., wondering why we can't fall asleep. This constant disruption can lead to insomnia, poor memory, and even mental health issues like anxiety and depression. It's almost like our brains are living in the Stone Age, but our technology is pulling us into the future at warp speed. Next up, stress. When we were hunter-gatherers, stress was short-lived and for good reason. If a predator was chasing you, your body's fight-or-flight response kicked in, pumping adrenaline, increasing heart rate, and diverting energy to your muscles. Once the danger passed, your body calmed down, and life returned to normal. Fast forward to today. The predators are gone, but our stress response is still the same. The problem? Our modern stressors never really go away. That email from your boss, traffic on the way to work, the pressure of social media, it's like there's always a lion lurking in the background. Our bodies weren't designed for this kind of chronic, low-level stress. As a result, our stress response, which was once a life-saving mechanism, is now causing long-term damage. Continuous activation of this fight-or-flight system leads to high blood pressure, heart disease, digestive problems, and, surprise, mental health issues like anxiety and burnout. It's like our stress response evolved for a sprint, but modern life has turned it into a marathon. Let's talk about food. For most of our evolutionary history, food was hard to come by. Our bodies evolved to be highly efficient at storing fat because you never knew when your next meal was coming. Carbohydrates and sugars, which were rare and precious in nature, gave us a quick burst of energy, perfect for survival. Now, we live in a world where food is not only abundant, but often engineered to be hyperpalatable. It's full of processed sugars and fats that our ancestors could only dream of. But our bodies? They still operate on the assumption that the next famine is right around the corner. When we eat something sugary, our brain rewards us with a flood of dopamine, reinforcing the behavior, because evolution taught us to crave high-energy foods. The mismatch? There is no famine coming. Instead, we're surrounded by fast food, snacks, and sugary drinks 24-7. Our bodies haven't caught up to this abundance, and so we end up with obesity, type 2 diabetes, and all the health problems that come with a diet our ancestors couldn't even fathom. And let's not forget our microbiome, the trillions of bacteria in our gut that evolved to digest fibrous, natural foods like fruits and vegetables. Now we feed it processed junk, and the microbiome rebels, contributing to digestive issues, inflammation, and even mental health disorders. It turns out what we eat doesn't just affect our waistline, it affects our entire body, including our brain. There will be a separate episode on microbiome. Humans evolved to be active. For millions of years, survival meant being on the move, hunting, gathering, escaping predators, building shelters. Our ancestors would have walked miles a day, climbed, crouched, and engaged in constant physical activity. They didn't have gyms because their lives were essentially a full-body workout. Now, we sit. A lot. We sit at desks, on the couch, in our cars. 
many of us go from eight hours of sitting at work to another few hours of sitting in front of the TV at home. This level of inactivity is completely foreign to our bodies, which are designed for movement. As a result, our bodies are revolting against this sedentary lifestyle. Back pain, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and even mental health issues are skyrocketing. Our muscles and joints weaken from disuse, while our metabolism slows down, making it easier to gain weight. We've essentially traded a life of physical hardship for one of convenience, but the trade-off comes with a heavy cost. Let's move on to social interaction. Human beings are deeply social creatures. We evolved in tight-knit groups where face-to-face -face interaction was critical for survival, whether it was cooperating on a hunt, caring for young, or simply building bonds that kept the group strong. But today, much of our interaction happens online. Social media, texting, and video calls have replaced many of our in-person connections. While these technologies allow us to stay connected over long distances, they also introduce new problems. For one, online communication lacks many of the emotional cues, like tone, facial expressions, and body language, that we evolved to interpret. This leads to a strange phenomenon where we're more connected than ever, but many people feel lonely and isolated. Add to that the echo chambers and algorithms on social media platforms that amplify negative news and controversial opinions, because let's face it, that's what gets the most clicks. And you've got a recipe for chronic stress and anxiety. Our brains simply weren't built to handle the constant bombardment of information that modern technology throws at us. And when that information is designed to trigger emotional reactions, like fear or anger, it messes with our mental well-being in ways evolution couldn't have anticipated. Finally, let's talk about mental health. It's no secret that anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues are on the rise. And much of this can be traced back to the mismatch between our evolutionary wiring and the demands of modern life. Our ancestors lived in small, close-knit communities, had clear purposes, like survival, and dealt with stress in short bursts. Compare that to today, where we face constant pressure to succeed, maintain an endless list of responsibilities, and present perfect lives on social media. We're overstimulated, overworked, and often overwhelmed. The rise of mental health issues isn't because humans are suddenly weaker or more fragile. It's because our environment has changed faster than our brains and bodies can adapt. We're essentially trying to run Stone Age software on modern hardware. So, are we doomed to live forever out of sync with our evolutionary design? Not necessarily. Awareness is key, and many people are beginning to take steps to bridge this gap. Mindfulness practices, like meditation and spending time in nature, help us reconnect with our natural rhythms. Prioritizing sleep, reducing screen time, and eating whole, unprocessed foods can help us realign with our evolutionary needs. Exercise, too, doesn't have to mean hitting the gym for hours on end. Simple movements like walking, stretching, and just getting up from your desk regularly can go a long way in restoring your body's natural function. And we're never going to fully return to a hunter-gatherer lifestyle and that's okay. But by understanding this mismatch between our biology and modern life, we can make choices that help bring us back into balance. Human beings are incredibly adaptable creatures, and while modern life presents challenges that evolution didn't prepare us for, we also have the tools and knowledge to improve our well-being. Yes, we're out of sync in many ways, but by being conscious of this mismatch, we can start to realign our lives with the rhythms and behaviors our bodies evolved to handle. Remember, Evolution is slow, but that doesn't mean we're helpless in the face of modern stressors. Small, mindful changes can make a huge difference in bridging the gap between our ancient biology and the demands of today's world. Stay tuned for more and take care of yourselves, both your ancient brain and your modern one.